Alright guys, welcome back to more PS5 Master League. We are back with, well, probably no transfers yet again this week. Um, again, we're struggling, aren't we, to get teams to buy our players. So uh, we had a look, we've had a look at some of the players um, that were suggested and I've put three of them into a list. So yes, I have had a little look. But these were the three that sort of took my interest the most out of them. Uh, we got this guy right here who's Romanian. So, you know, Mutu might have played with him, guys. You know, he's forward. Uh, he's 24. His balance is 95, which is his best attribute. Oh, actually, no, I tell a lie. It's shot power uh, is the best attribute. Uh, injury B. I mean, it's fine. You know, I prefer A, but B's okay. I guess uh, just means he's maybe a little bit more prone to get injuries than some other players. Uh, he can play an SS and center forward. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name, guys, but it's one that I think you never know. If Mutu retires, this guy could come in potentially. I'm not saying he definitely will, but yeah, there's Delgado here who you might be looking at the stats and thinking that's not great, but he's only 18, so that's not bad. For an 18 year old problem is we can't get him because we've got the maximum amount of players on the team um balance is 82 some of his like you know like his um response there agility uh, are not far off hitting like the 80 mark for an 18 year old that's really good so that could be uh, one for um f for the future potentially right there so shot power is 80 jump is 81 that looks pretty good um uh, he only plays center forward though so but still but still, and then Bradley right here, which is another one. He is currently 17, and look at those stats. That is definitely good. Center midfield. Uh, can play center back. So that's not bad, is it? Can play center back, defensive midfield, and center mid. Not bad at all. So, yeah, I'm, I've shortlisted them three for the future, potentially. Um, the only other thing that I've done to the team um, is Fernando Torres has been put up for sale. Potentially, see what happens, see what comes in. I don't know. It's not a guarantee that he'll be sold. We're just not getting anyone that wants to buy players. And I can't find anyone that I really um, want to swap for. So, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's on quick search. Open to negoti negotiate. So we was looking at Ardals, wasn't we? But it's like, if we traded him, who do we trade him for? I mean, like, Dijon's really good. I think Dijon needs another season myself. Um, I, I mean, Schneider, he's 29. He's got a few years on him, you know, stuff like that. There was Nuri Sahin that we were looking at. In fact, how does Nuri Sahin um, compare to Schneider? Let's have a look a little bit. I guess we'll do that this week um not that we're gonna do it but um just have a little look at the compare um so schneider is a little bit down on a few things there including top speed acceleration he's got the best stamina i mean yuri sahins will improve and probably get to around what uh, schneider's is at some point um four years younger is yuri sahin um can't play as many positions as schneider does he can percent mid side and attack in whereas Nuri's only defense or attack. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Weak foot and stuff. Uh, Schneider's way better on all of that kind of stuff. Free kick. We should give him some free kick, shouldn't we? Schneider, if we can. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. In fact, I'll uh, add him to list. You never know. You never know, guys. Let's go to our next game. Our next game is going to be against, I believe, the African All-Stars. So let's get straight into it. So yeah, here we are, and uh, we're going to be playing this one, I believe, in Romania, guys, today. So uh, last season, we did this thing where we sort of um, went to different like countries. I think we was in Ireland for one of them. Wasn't we in like Scotland for another one or something like that, uh, where we was playing these t sort of teams? So I figured, like, you know, maybe each preseason we can do that or something. Might be kind of interesting. So, yeah, I've chosen Romania for this one. We get to see more stadiums that we haven't played in before. That's, like, the whole idea of it. But, uh, yeah, another player I um, almost forgot about was Alan Shearer as well. He's regen. He's currently 19. 
Uh, we can't sign him because uh, we are unable to <laughs> uh, due to the squad size, etc. Um, yeah, it looks good. Um, just right now, it doesn't quite fit. But again, I've shortlisted the player. Um, and, you know, it's an option for the for the future, you know. So, yeah. Motta is playing this one today. I haven't mentioned any of the team just yet. Uh, Iniesta, uh, Motta is at right back. Uh, left back is going to be Roberto Carlos. Uh, I believe it is Torres, who is the captain today, by the way. He's alongside uh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo's going to remain up front yet again for another match. Why not? And... Oh! Oh, is there a chance? Is there something? No. Apparently not. And Bami there. Oh, wow. And Shimizu with the shot off target. He's attacking midfield today. Uh, I think it's De Jong who is in DMF, uh, I believe. Oh, who's at the back? Who is it? Who is it? Who did I put? I know Czech is in goal. He's on red form. Uh, I think, jo yeah, jo is it Joe Cole starting this one as well? Uh, yeah, Torres. Uh, I don't think he's ever played captain before as Torres, so I was like, you know what, that guy, he's been here a long time, man. He deserves it. He's been here, what, since the start of season three? Man, he deserves it. Even if it's just one game, even if it's just a pre-season game. Like, let's just give him it. So, yeah. Um, it'll, it'll come to me in a second, who we put at the back. <laughs> I think it's Mal Maldini, actually. Ah, uh, Cannavaro, yeah, that was it. So, yeah, uh, again with the transfer. This could be a summer where there's just nothing happens for the team. Maybe. Maybe, I'm not sure. Because company is one we keep talking about and getting rid of. But, um... Oh! 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 <laughs> Are you kidding me? Compen oh, we've actually got a corner out of that. How did that happen? It's Shimizu! Oh, he's made it 1-0. I'm not even sure who's in this African All-Star team. I paid no attention to it, honestly. But, um, you know, obviously a very good team. Um, and, yeah, it, it's... How do I describe it? It's like, you know, you guys all have your suggestions in there, and I've looked at them finally this week. I don't know. I, I just sort of forgot in the last episode or whatever, but um, they had a man on that far post there. They should have kept him on, else that would have definitely not been a goal. Oh, well, Eto is actually playing against us today. Played for us a few seasons back. Um, and... Like, I've looked at them all, and like I said, I shortlisted some of them, and Ronaldo is going to have a very bad effort. Um, and we're just, uh, we're just, it's, it, like I say, it really is a case of how do we improve what already is a really good team, and there's always some way of doing it, but it's, it's kind of difficult in a way. Um, but I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it too much. I just want to sort of get on with the matches, I guess. So yeah, here is Ronaldo. Is it? No, he's being cut out there. So we played. Uh, I can't remember what the team was called last season. Here's Kalu, by the way. Uh, and they had Kalishi, and we were like, "Oh, Kalishi." That could be a good idea for a left back. He's, he wasn't too bad last season. He could have been better, in my opinion. Um, you know, but you've got to uh, give into account the amount of time that a player will get on the pitch. And, well, he didn't get as much time as Reese, obviously. Um, but he's probably one of the most strongest sort of left backs I think we've had. You know, there's just not been a lot of left backs that we've come across in my opinion <sighs> Ronaldo's hit that purse twice that was a pass by the way <laughs> oh there you go he scored I 
right back, I don't think has been a problem because we got Ramos. Um, and then we got Cafu, and them two have been really good at rotating. It's just like finding a rotating player for Risa, which has just not really happened, um, in my opinion. So, yeah, we got Roberto Carlos, who might be... Well, I mean, he should be good for the future, shouldn't he? Um, I think a few seasons back we had... Uh, what was his name? Van Bronckhorst. He was good. Like, obviously, at his age at the time... Um, he was like, I don't know, what was he, like 33 or something like that. Like, we only had him for a couple of seasons, but, like, it was a it was a decent option. Um, even if it was just a short-term kind of thing. That's kind of what we've been going through, is, like, short-term options. For me, it's more about defenders, you know? Like, uh, a lot of attackers get suggested to me, and it's like, I get that, but we could do with a defender, you know? Like I said, um... For whatever, uh, that, that's another thing as well. I haven't put Gambino in the shortlist. He's definitely in the back of my mind. I know that he's one player that I definitely do um, want. That is very poor by Eto, that. He should have finished that. He should have punished us there. Wow. Um, Gambino is one, again, for the future. I'm sort of looking at a lot of players for the future now. Um... And uh, see how it kind of goes. And that was pretty... Well, they've still got possession. Ooh. Uh, Kalu scored, fair enough. He doesn't know what he's doing there. He's running into the post and everything. And now he's got the ball. Um, Nice haircut. Uh, you know, stuff it, it is all up in the air right now. I don't know what we were doing here. We were really bad. What was Czech doing? I mean, come on, man. He's He's got to get to this. Man, that was like a Buffon-style thing from last season when we played Ajax. Was it Ajax where we, he just let the ball go? Anyway, second half is coming. Well, we're not going to change anything. We're just going to keep it as it is. Really should just be 2-0 at this point. Like, how did we let that happen? It's really not good, but yeah. Um, yeah, when it, when it comes to transfers, it has been crazy. You know, we say one thing, we do another. I always say that probably about 50 times every year, but it's true. You know, we go from one player to another um, we look at one idea and then the next window we change and it's like uh, the amount of players that we've signed and then we've got rid of the next window or whatever and it's it's well it's unreal I've probably been sacked by now if this was real life you know what I mean just just based on just based on my transfer policy or whatever you know <laughs> it really would be uh, a big disaster probably guys I think Czech's been one of the best signings we've had, though, as well. Like, he's been so good. He's been with us since Season 4. So, it's been very good. His motto. So, we had, like, Philippe here, didn't we, at one point. He um, got sold. Um, and then we brought him back. Uh, I think Haleb was another one. I think Heitinger was one, wasn't he? We brought him back. Um, uh, oh, what's happened here? Okay. Ronaldo's going to have a pop. Oh. Here's Cannavaro, here's Roberto Carlos, here's Iniesta. It always gets me wondering, like, you know, like what kind of what kind of stuff's gonna happen this season, you know, like like last season we had the whole um like Mutu thing, we had the great comeback. Uh well the, the Mutu thing against uh was it Middlesbrough we played? Well we had a late winner 
We had the uh, Ajax comeback. You know, each season seems to have its ups and downs. I think somebody suggested, uh, you know, like trying to win every game in the league, like have a, a 30 straight win season. Um, I think we had like a 28 before. I mean, it's not... I mean, I guess it's the ultimate goal uh, when it comes to the league season, isn't it? I mean, it's the ultimate goal every season, but obviously it's, it's not realistic and it's probably not going to happen. Um... You know, it, it, it's... It, I don't know how to describe that, to be honest. It, it's something I would like to achieve, but I don't think it ever will happen. But you never know, we can give it a try. I suppose that's one of the, one of the problems. If you've got a team that's as good as this one is, in my opinion, um, you know, you want to try and better it somehow and doing things like talk, talking about trying to win every league game it is something that maybe we have gotten to at this point maybe it's a, a case of how do we improve this stop those little mistakes happening here and there and you know get over the uh finish line of you know really really perfecting things off but uh, it, it, it's it's a little too far-fetched in my opinion but hey, if people want to talk about that, you know, it's it's it's, it's interesting. You know, it's, it really is interesting. And uh, like I said, guys, I am one of these. I don't re-record things. When when I lose a game, that it stays. I don't redo it. I don't, you know, the, the only way I ever re-record anything is if there is a technical problem and I've been forced to re-record or whatever. That's the only um, time it's ever really happened. Um so yeah here's Ronaldo with a decent shot got to use a power free subs Awusu, Ramos and Gerard all coming on Gerard's gonna take this and Motta ah why not you know what it's pre-season have a little pop a little cheeky one little cheek guys right there for you Oh, I think Ronaldo really should have had that. If he slid out for the ball there, probably would have had it. Here's Eto. I think a who has been given the captain's armband for like the last five minutes here now. Here's Ronaldo. It's Ronaldo and he's found Shimizu. It's Shimizu. It's a Wusu. Oh! Ah, oh, I can't believe it. He took the shot first time. Maybe should have took a little touch. Maybe would have been a little bit more accurate with the shot. I don't know. It's always weird when you um, come onto a shot first time, isn't it? Here's Iniesta. Wusu waiting in the middle there. And, oh, it's, it's Maldini! What? Where did you come from, boy? <laughs> we had Ramos the other week, didn't we? Um, well, the other day against... Uh, who was it? Fenerba was it Fenerbahce scored against? Maldini, man. I think Ronaldo provided the assist for Ramos as well. Um, he's provided it to uh, Maldini too. I think R R Ronaldo's probably going to get the man of the match here today. Nice little way to end off this match there with that uh, surprise Maldini golf. And that's his first goal for us, actually. I don't believe he scored last season. He's been mostly playing in the centre-back position, I believe. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was a good game. It's not bad. The, a little run out for many players there. Well, Ronaldo scored and also provided two assists, so it was always going to be him today, wasn't it? Um, he got a got header from the corner, etc. So, uh, yeah. And Bami, he is a Pesic's ledge, to be honest. I wonder 
what his stats are looking like right now. But uh, yeah, uh, Joe Cole. I see Joe Cole's one of those ones we're like iffy about. Like, do we let him go? But he always plays well. Seven point five. Been here since halfway through season three, I believe. Um, Shimizu eight point five for him. Got a goal for himself. Excellent stuff. Torres didn't impress. He didn't really do much today to be honest that's why i was saying maybe do we get rid of him potentially uh maldini got a 6.5 he was probably on for like a six but that goal probably bumped it to a 6.5 but yeah good stuff also nearly a goal for a wusu again i love that guy though i love that guy oh it's, it's definitely not a good week we've had another breakdown with kafu and marshall and we still haven't had haven't had any um offers for our players yikes okay you know what i think it's just best to give these guys what they want let's let's not be stingy with the money anymore you know what let's just do it guys uh kafu let's have a look you know what you want 883 you can have 883 then as long as you sign that five-year deal you know what i'm saying like how old is he 21 Oof. stamina 92 that's probably why we, we get on well because i like to have uh stamina sort of based players down the wings like like, Risa's stamina is 94, I think. Did it used to be a little bit higher than that? Um, not too long back. But he's, like, you know, he always he's always in the mood to play another game. Uh, Ramos' stamina is 97. And that's one of the issues uh, that we have. But, uh, yeah, yeah, again, nothing there. So I'm just going to check the non-affiliated yet again, see if anything has actually changed at all. Kaku. I, every time I see Kaku, I think it's um, Kaka, but it's not, obviously. Um, nothing there. Nothing there. So I think it was. Uh, I think new newcomers was the one where we saw Gambini. He's still there. Um, and then there is a lot of players, but we just can't get hold of them unless we, like I say, um. Release. I, I hate releasing players. It's something I hate to do, which is why I'm not doing it right now. You know what I mean? And I think to myself, we'll just wait till like we're halfway through the uh, transfer. Around about maybe like the fifth game, something like that, we'll start to consider it more. Um, but yeah, future potential. Because hey, we got Anxagi here, who's 18. Can only play centre forward, but obviously he's really good. So, oh, I mean, there is that, but, like, do we really need an attacking player? I mean, it's good for the future, obviously. He's probably not going to get a lot, of, a lot of game time. Bear Camp is on there as well. In fact, where does Bear Camp actually attack in midfield, SS, or sent forward? See, that's pretty good. Uh, and I don't think any of this is show the sharing them on there. 24. Re oh, my. His stats were pretty good, weren't they? <laughs> Hmm. hmm. The Nuri Sahim one is one that I, again, I'm, I'm like, do we, do we? Yeah, we had Chivu, we had Colachini, we had we had John, he's up on there, Jesus. <laughs> um, so, yeah. There's a few on here. Giladino's up on here. Oh. Again, attacking player, though. Uh, Xavi, we had him at one point. Uh, Cons, I think we was like, we looked at him at one point. I'm sure we did. He's not bad. Attacking midfielder or sweeper? What? That's a little odd. He can play at defence if we want him to. Wait a minute. I mean... I mean, hear me out. <laughs> you know. Um, 25. I mean, how, how old is... Um, company currently 27 you know what i'm saying guys but if we had cons he would be attacking midfield so that would give us another option there but he also could play at the back you know what i mean that's interesting that kind of interests me a little bit i'm gonna add him to the list whoa why not um stellinger here that's not bad how old is he 26 okay uh, I think, was it this guy was interesting me as well, but I'm not too sure about that. Um, yeah, okay. Um, I think that's it for this week. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I want to do. 
Uh, I mean, if we were to release, where is company actually? If we were to release it, it's only a penalty of 204 points, but I mean, it's like, is it worth it? You know, I don't know. Anyway, that's just another game down, and we're going to go ahead to uh, the next game, which is going to be against Getafe, guys. So join us for that one next time. We'll be halfway through preseason already by the time we get to the end of this next match. Comment, subscribe, and share as always. Another week of questioning, pondering, meetings in the boardroom, and all that good stuff. See you next time. Take care.